Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details, and today I have a bit of a tricky video to make. I've decided to get three sets of wheels refurbed by a certain company, and to be quite honest, I haven't gone through the trouble of recording all of this footage for me not to post the video due to somebody else's shoddy work. I've purchased a new set of wheels for the Volkswagen Caddy, which are the first set of aftermarket wheels that I've ever purchased in 13 years of driving. You'll be able to see what the new wheels are shortly. At the moment, I'm taking the old set off, which are early model and genuine Porsche KN wheels. The Porsche wheels are being refurbished before being put up for sale. Link in the description to the eBay advertisement. Those Porsche wheels require 5x112 wheel adapters, so due to the new wheels being standard Volkswagen fitment, the adapters need to come off, which are also included in the sale of the Porsche wheels. Excuse the dirt ridden arches on the Volkswagen Caddy, it is well overdue a good maintenance detail. For now the caddy is going to be wearing a set of steel wheels to get me by and unfortunately this back one has a slow flat. The wheels on the Focus are pretty rotten as the inside of the barrels are badly blistered and corroded. I'll show you some close up footage on this problem shortly. In terms of what colour each set of wheels are going, I'm going to leave it as a surprise for when we pick them up, although not one set of wheels are being refurbished in their current colours, put it that way.
jacking up skills on the Focus are rather questionable, but I can assure you that the car didn't fall off the jacks. Lesson learned I guess, all I needed to do was raise the rear axle stands a bit, so the car would have been sitting level, never mind. Both sets of wheels were removed from their vehicles with the addition of the new 3STM 0.5s. These are a wheel that I wanted since they were first released over 5 years ago. I'm certainly happy now that I've found a set of second hand with decent tyres for a decent price. Shame they're white, as I hate white wheels on any colour car, however they will be undergoing a complete colour change. The game of Tetris begins in the back of the van, fitting in all 12 wheels so they aren't going to smash around whilst I drive to the destination. The Focus RS wheels are 19 inch, the 3 SDMs are 18s and the Porsche KM wheels are 17s. Good news for me is that all tyres on every single wheel are relatively new with lots of tread left, apart from the front two Focus wheels which still have a track day or two left in them. With the wheels loaded up, it's time to make our way over to the wheel refurbishers in Stoke-on-Trent. I chose top marks in Fenton due to reading a stack of happy customer reviews and was made to feel reassured by their professional website and guidance over the phone. The owner of the company was happy to offer me a healthy discount for doing a YouTube video featuring their company and this discount was doing the Porsche wheels for free. Myself and one of the chaps from Top Marks emptied the alloy wheels from the back of the van and stacked them up nicely for an introduction shot. I had some final words with the owner of the business who also gave me a tour of their unit simply so I could understand the process that my beloved wheels would undergo. I finalised my colour choices after seeing a few demonstration wheels in their reception where I actually changed my mind on the colours for two of them. Here's some before footage showing the current condition of the alloys, granted the main issue was with the focus wheels as they blatantly haven't been kept clean to a good standard over the years. The 3 SDM wheels are pretty tidy, but they are just in the wrong colour. The Porsche KM wheels are quite simply dirty, but the paint job on them is terrible as I did them myself with rattle cans a few years back. We rolled the wheels into the Top Marks unit before making my way back home. Three days later I returned back to Top Marks to pick the wheels up, however I was greeted by a nasty surprise, hence no footage of actually picking them up from the company. I'm not going to tell you the exact colour names just yet, I'll get them unloaded out of the van and stack them up neatly in the unit to show you what the problem is. Whilst the wheels do look fantastic at a distance and I was certainly happy with my colour selections, however being a detailer and the main reason behind why I chose top marks in Fenton to do the work was because I wanted them to be pretty damn close to perfection. What I didn't expect when picking the wheels up was to find every single one of them covered in light scratches. Not only were there light scratches but also random areas with heavier scrubbing marks, a missed bit of paint in the middle of one of the Porsche wheels and also random sanding marks dotted about here, there and everywhere. When I noticed the wheels whilst picking them up from top marks, I said Tim, who's the owner of the company, why are my wheels covered in scratches? He said, what do you mean covered in scratches? I said, the wheels are covered in scratches Tim. He said, that's normal mate, we've never had any complaints before. I said it is not acceptable. He replies, ah well I'll polish them out for you quickly, hang on a sec. He returns with a rag and some pledge for Christ's sake. I said you may as well stop there pal, you are going to make them worse. I inspected the other wheels under his unit lighting and at the time I was happy with the other wheels, the only problem that I was not aware about was the fact that they were all affected, I just couldn't see against the darker wheel colour. Whilst in his unit I did believe that the wheels would only need a fine finishing stage on the Reapers hybrid in order to remove those scratches. So I said to Tim the tit, I've got 5 hours of work there, you'll need to knock 100 quid off the invoice. He agreed to knock 100 quid off the invoice and I simply said to him that there is more important things in life to be worried about than some shoddy work on car wheels. I put the wheels in the back of the van, paid the invoice and then made my way home. The first thing I did when I got back was left him a shoddy yet honest Google review. Pause the screen now to read it all. 
I sat back on my safe wrapped the unit to the start of what I knew would be a long evening because like the rest of us, I still have my own life to lead. 12 wheels in front of me, all needing a single stage machine polish with a pathetic Rupes hybrid, not forgetting a single layer of ceramic coating for every single wheel. I ordered a pizza and made a start on the wheels, not knowing that I was actually in for an all nighter at the unit, just to get the wheels done and dusted. I'm going to leave this video here and take back off in the next part with sorting the focus wheels out, followed with part 2 the 3 SDMs and then part 3 will be all about sorting the Porsche wheels, quite simply because each set was treated differently and it was quite time consuming. In each of those parts I'm going to talk about what I like and dislike about all three sets of wheels, why I've changed the caddy wheels and to also explain the process behind polishing the wheels with the Rupes Hybrid and also ceramic coating them. I must have spent around 1 hour on each wheel and there were 12 of the fuckers to get through. Be sure to tune in to the next 3 parts where I actually rectify the results and get them all ceramic coated and refitted to the vehicles. Please visit the JP Details online store for products and merchandise and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Smash the like button and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.